Established in 2004, the Vinduk City Police Headquarters, now named Abraham Kotokeni Kanime, has achieved milestones such as the installation of CCTV cameras, combating crime in communities, and introducing computer-based statistics systems. Looking ahead, the Vinduk City Police plans to implement new systems, including the installation of additional cameras in high-risk areas to monitor crime. These measures aim to ensure that the motorists do not drive while using their phones, passengers and drivers wear seat belts, and unauthorized street vendors are monitored. The city police is also on a mission to establish preventive policing, focusing on preventing crime before it occurs. At the same event, former Chief Abraham Kanime was celebrated for his contribution in shaping the security landscape and providing unwavering service to the residents of Vintuk and the city police. Appointed as the first chief of the Vinduk Municipality's Police Division in 2004, Chief Kanime is also described as a devoted leader who laid a solid foundation for the crime combating organization during his tenure, which lasted until May 2023. Kanime has been a member of the Namibian Police Force since 1995, and in 2004 he helped found the Vinduk City Police. Accepting the renaming of the building in his honor, Kanime emphasized that this achievement was not his alone, but the result of collective efforts to establish a strong, effective crime-combating service. In historical perspective, renaming of the building from Peter Andres de Vett, who was the architecture of racial segregation, the implementer of forceful removal of our people from the old location to Katutura, to that of Chief Abraham Kotokeni Kanime, the freedom fighter, the liberator, the peace officer and the protector of our community, signifies the continuous emancipation effort from colonial bondage and its connotations. Vintuk Mayor Queen Kamati commended the Vintuk City Police for combating crime and ensuring safety for all residents. And Chief Kanime is a recognition that our past can be a source of strength for our future and through the renaming of the building, we affirm our commitment to diversity, equality, inclusion and just society. Today's event was also fitting to ceremonialize, to ceremonialize Chief Abraham Kotokeni Kanime's name here for generations to come as a testament to his indulging contribution to Venduk and Namibia.